Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a lovely day so far. In today's Everyday Makeup Monday, I am going to be talking you through the very basic makeup that I have been wearing every day for the last like three weeks. I have recently started not wearing a mask for work so I've really been like capitalising on my lipstick collection and using one in particular and it is a bright lipstick and it's not necessarily a tone that you would think of wearing in summer but this is what I have been wearing every single day. Obviously in these Everyday Makeup Monday videos I don't wear foundation, it's a very light coverage, it's long lasting makeup because it's what I genuinely wear for work every single day so let's just get into what products I've been wearing. So for concealer I'm using the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. You can see how much of this I've used. I've really really been loving it recently because my eyes are so sensitive at the minute and I just find this really lightweight feeling whilst also having a really great amount of coverage and the serum-y texture of it really soothes my eyes and like my eye area where my skin is really really dry and irritated because of pollen, you know. So I've really been enjoying this so I just take a really small amount and then work it into my brush and then just swirl it on in that inner eye area. So once I'm done building this up like under my eyes and taking out this redness in my cheeks and like down the sides of my nose, I just take whatever I've got left off the back of my hand and highlight down the centre of my face. I just love the texture of this concealer. It feels like nothing. It feels really, really lightweight but really nice and hydrating. If you have dry skin, you'll really, really like this one. Then I'm going in with the Collection Gorgeous Glow Stick in the contour shade. This is all I have left, this tiny, tiny little bit, so I have to go in with a brush to like dig the product out of there. I can't just draw, draw it straight on anymore because it's like in. Um, so I just take a little bit of that on a brush and start to chisel out these cheekbones. This is quite a cool colour. Um, so I will be going in with a powder bronzer afterwards, but I like having the two layers, especially in this heat that we're having. I like to have the reassurance of having that cream product on and then setting it with the powder. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So this does add a nice amount of colour, but I feel like for summer it is a little bit cool for me. Just a touch too on the cool side for me to feel like a bronzed goddess, which is of course how I always want to feel. So on top of this cream contour, I'm going to go over it with the Revolution Bronzer Reloaded in Long Weekend. This is a beautiful bronzer. It almost has a shimmer in it, like the swirls are glittery, but very subtle glittery. It's not overpoweringly chunky glittery. It just adds a really nice reflect soft shimmer to the skin if that makes sense. So going in with my favourite blush brush, stamping into that and I will just go over where we put all of that contour shade and a little bit higher up onto the cheeks. Add a bit more colour. And then with the same brush, I'm going to tap over a little bit of blush further back on the cheeks and just blend it in so that there's a bit of a gradient between the pink of the blush and the bronzer. So this is the Collection Glow Blush in the shade 5 Peach. And it is a really soft peachy colour. It also has that little shimmery reflect in it, which is so pretty. And I'll just tap this further back over the cheeks and blend it into that bronzer. And you can see how glowy that is making my whole face. Are my lights a bit bright? I feel like they are. Is that a bit better? I don't know. <laughs> this will do. So, like I say, the glow in the products is really adding that glow to the skin, but none of this looks chunky or glittery. It's just making me look a little bit more healthy, 
which we love. So I'm going to just do my eyebrows. I'm using the XX Revolution Faux Brow and the Elf Wow Brow. I honestly change these up. Well, I change up the pencil quite a lot. It's always the Elf Wow Brow, as you know if you've been here before. <laughs> So on the eyes we're going really really simple, I'm just going to put a tiny little bit of that powder bronzer through the crease but with a much smaller brush than what I normally use. So for reference, I normally use this brush which is the LA Girl 202 and that really gets the colour on quickly, it really blends it out really wide and makes it really smoky but I want something a little bit less than that today. So I'm going in with this one which just says Morphe on it. I think I got it in a set. So you can see the difference between the two sizes. They're both a similar shape but I just want more of a precise colour today rather than smoking out that bronzer really really far and having that as like the interesting bit of the look if that makes sense. So I'm just going to tap that smaller brush into the darker bit of that bronzer and do the same as what I always do, just buff it through the crease all the way along but I just want it more precise rather than making this a brown smoky eye. I just want a little bit of definition in there rather than this being the focal point. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> so we've basically just added back in that shadow that we took out with the concealer in the first step but just something like that just makes me feel like I look a little bit more awake. So if you have seen literally any of my videos then you'll know that I like a really thick, really dramatic lash. However, with this look that I'm doing today and this is how I have been wearing makeup through the heat wave, I have really been enjoying a long lash but really thin and really wispy. I've literally just been using one layer of mascara which is unheard of for me. So I'm going in just with the Maybelline Lash Sensational. This is the one out of my project pan so it is slightly thicker than usual. It is slightly thicker than maybe I would prefer it for this sort of long lash look rather than a dramatic thickened lash look but I'm just going to be using one layer top and bottom to give that colour and to give that length but without adding any sort of thickness to the lash. So that is the mascara on as you can see that is a lot less than what I normally do but I have actually found that wearing my mascara this way and wearing less of it, it's made my lashes look longer, it's been more long lasting and it's made it smudge less. So when I really layer up the mascara, as I always do, it, even my most long lasting ones in this heat, it's been smudging under my eyes and above like onto my eyelids. This makes it more long lasting because there's just less of the product there to smudge around. So all that's left to do now is the lip and this really is the focal point of this whole look. So this is the lipstick that I'm going to be using today and I looked up the name of this because I always get it wrong. This is the L'Oreal Paris Rouge, see I can't speak, L'Oreal Paris Rouge Signature Matte Liquid Lipstick. I always get that wrong, I always get it all in completely the wrong order. So this is in the shade I Don't and as you can see it is a beautiful bright red but this leans more on the orangey side and I have been on the hunt for my perfect orange lipstick and I had this in my collection already. It isn't my perfect orange lipstick but I do like it for at this time of year. It's less of a autumny burnt orange sort of colour and more of a bright red summer shade for me anyway but I have really really been loving it at this time of year. So this is what the wand looks like. It's a really interesting shaped wand. That point really gets into all of the lines of the lips, really lays down that colour in like one swipe. It's so quick. I'm going to show you it in real time but this is so long lasting. So I'm just going to go silent for a little bit but <laughs> this is how quick it is to apply, okay?
like that is quick for a red lip or I think it is anyway let me know do you think that, that took me a long time I feel like for me a red lipstick really takes a lot of time if I'm using like a bullet lipstick it can easily take me like five minutes to get it right but the wand of this makes it so easy so as you can see it is like an orangey tone but it's definitely a red orange rather than like a bright orange but how cute is that for summer you don't just have to keep your red lipsticks for like christmas i love this lipstick so that is the finished look a really soft eye look absolutely nothing to it it's just the very specific application of mascara a fluffy brow a glowy skin and then that bright pop of lipstick and this will absolutely stay all day that's set now i can feel that it's set on my lips and that will just stay all day long so let me know what you think in the comment section down below if you have any recommendations for a really good long lasting bright orange lipstick an orange for summer not an orange for autumn then let me know in the comment section down below because i'm still on the lookout but until next time thank you so much for watching bye